The Lord's Mail is the best heavy armor chest plate in Morrowind, and today I'm going to show you how to get it at level 1. You can get the armor with relative ease, but you'll have to fight for it. I recommend a solid free weapon like the Iron Shard Axe or Spark Sword, and whatever armor you can get for your spec. Destruction Squirrels are viable too. The main thing you're going to need is booze, and maybe a little skooma too. I'm going to grab everything we need off camera, and then we'll get going. Okay, we're back now. If you're curious about what all I did, the whole process is explained in detail in my Mysteries of Morrowind video on Satanin, where I show lots of free sources of early game gear. But for now, let's get underway. Like any good party, this one's gonna kick off with a bottle of skooma, and then a scroll of a carrion flight or two for an express trip down to Ebonheart. Who needs silt striders and boats when we have drugs and magic? I was afraid of that. We're not coming down in the water. Time to pop another scroll. That was a really nice landing. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Yeah, for about another 200 years. The Lord's Mail can be found in a small cave to the north of the castle in the possession of a legion deserter named Furious Asilius. I guess he figured out the mail was worth a lot more than a soldier's pay. Just a word of warning, hold off if you're planning on doing the Legion quest line. Killing this guy early has been known to bug it out. But I'm an orc with the skooma problem, so I'm just going to keep the armor. Now Furious is level 15 and has a few nice pieces of gear, but no man can stand against an orc with a pile of sujama. The cave we're looking for is underwater. You can see the door from the shore. Hey, that rhymed. I'm just glad it's not a grotto. Once we're inside, we'll be welcomed by a couple of sewer rats. Neither one of them have the Lord's Mail, so we're going to save our party favors for now. Once we're done playing with the wildlife, we're going to head straight ahead until we get to the area where Furious is. And he will be furious, at least once I speak to him. I guess he doesn't like orcs. Okay guys, the plan is, I'm gonna get loaded on booze and come out blasting with scroll. And some skooma, for luck. Once we're good and hammered, we're gonna go get him good and hammered too. Or at least axed. I'm gonna open up with Hellfire and hopefully that takes a little bit of his health down. Speak freely, oh, friend. God. Wait a minute, that's Michael from Vsauce. This is pointless. Give in. I will enjoy this. See, now that's a good attitude. He's looking forward to the afterlife. Alright, so he's got a demon katana. That's pretty sweet. And we've got the Lord's Mail itself. Not only does it have the highest armor rating of any chess piece in the game, but it's also got cure poison and resist magicka. Now there's also this little levitation potion here, which if you know Morwen, that means it's a clue to look up. So let's drink another concoction and we'll go floating around the ceiling like this is Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Up here we'll find amenities such as a bedroll in case you need a nap after that fight. I'm sure my character's gonna need to lay down soon. And we'll save this pilgrim lantern for Thanksgiving. Oh, that was a stupid joke. Over here in the corner, we'll find another little treasure stash, starring this glass longsword. Also, don't forget to grab all the goodies in these little bags and crates. I didn't bring a probe, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this chest. And it seems that chest was full of death. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you had fun and learned something new. If you know any more win tips or secrets, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. I've been Git Shiver, and this was 5 Minute Morrowind. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Later.